as a non-Estonian, it is incredibly hard. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl again, Victoria, aka Life Fanta. And I'm here with another video. So today we are talking about something really serious. <laughs> Actually, I will be talking to you guys about a few things that I feel I should share with you because I have made quite a few videos about life in Estonia, but I haven't really gone into the details of the nitty gritty about living in Estonia and how life really is in Estonia. And I feel like there are a few things that everybody should know before they decide to make the move to Estonia especially i'm talking to my people especially my african people like you know so today's video is dedicated to sharing a few things that you have to keep in mind before you decide to make the move to estonia point number one the weather <laughs> Oh, we have winter we have spring summer autumn and winter is the the main the main season that that i'm talking about today summer is good spring is okay autumn is mm, but winter the winters are long the winters are gloomy the winters are Cold. However, you might have imagined how cold Estonian winter is. Multiply it by two or three. It's freaking cold in winter. So if you're coming from warm climates, just keep in mind that Estonia is really cold. And then we have about seven to eight months long of winter and during this time the daylight the sunlight that we have is like about five to six hours of sunlight in the whole of 24 hours just know that it's freaking cold the winters are harsh the winters are cold no jokes no jokes the second point i want to talk about is that it can get incredibly lonely this topic is like a whole topic on its own for people that are moving to estonia your neighbors keep to themselves you might not even meet your next door neighbor for months that you live in that house um everybody minds their business if you do not have a community you might get easily depressed from the extreme loneliness but i feel like most of the people coming to estonia are coming to school so of course you would have classmates that you can interact with you might have colleagues at work that you might interact with but if you don't have any of that it's it can get extremely lonely i found people that like i used to be on their own working on their own and then they moved to estonia and then the loneliness like really really gets to them so as much as you can if you can i would advise if you're moving to estonia don't plan to stay alone have a roommate have a housemate make friends in school make friends at work just don't be on your own because it can get incredibly lonely and for those that might be asking like how do i find a community how do i mix with people to avoid just getting depressed and lonely well as i said earlier school is a good place to start if you're a student there are also um your work colleagues hopefully if you work with nice people you can make friends at work and also we have churches here so the church i attend sometimes <laughs> is the redeemed christian church of god yes we have a redeemed christian church of god here in Tallinn. i also heard there's a mountain of fire church here now i haven't been there i don't know and then there's another church i can't remember the name of the church but there are a few churches here that africans attend estonians attend russians attend immigrants from all over the world attend churches here so that's another place for you to meet somebody to make friends to mingle so that you will not just be by yourself and sad and lonely and depressed if you get what i mean and there is also a mosque here 
I only know of one. I have a few friends that attend that mosque. Um, I pray at that mosque. So if you are a Muslim, yes, you can go to the mosque and meet one or two people, mix, interact, mix and interact so that loneliness would not overwhelm you because yes, it can be incredibly lonely moving all the way to another country on your own. The third thing I would like to talk about is accommodation. <laughs> I talked about weather, I talked about loneliness and then I jumped to accommodation. I feel this should have been number one itself because it's really important. As a non-Estonian, it is incredibly hard to find accommodation now in Tallinn. For the past year or two, if you are not Estonian, and you're trying to rent a place it's a lot sometimes you can find a place that you want um, online and then you go online and then you find the apartment that you want for a good price and then you call the agent and the agent said oh come tomorrow and then you go there tomorrow like 10 minutes before the time the agent is already in the apartment watching the streets to see who is coming and then they see that there's a black person and then you keep calling the agents some of them will not even pick your call anymore once they see that you don't fit the specification of the kind of person they want in the house some of them will tell you that the apartment is rented and then a few days later you go online you still see the same apartment online some of them will tell you that um so they will just switch off their phones and you cannot even reach them anymore but i do appreciate the few um landlords and agent that will just straight up say only Estonians in the advert for the apartment so it's it's uh, it's an issue I would say it is an issue for a non-Estonian to easily find an apartment if you really need to move you have to give yourself like one to two months to find a place sometimes even two to three months depending on what you really want if you want something really nice at a really good price you have to take time to search and it's, it's, it's a lot so yes it's not so easy most of the Estonian landlords at least I can speak for Tallinn I stay here in Tallinn are skeptical about giving their apartments to non-Estonians to immigrants I don't know why that is because the funny thing is uh, quite a number of the Estonian people have been to other countries you see their children live in other countries and of course they rent apartments in those countries what if everybody everywhere in the world say they only want their own people they only want to rent apartments to their own people like won't we all be living in the street or something like it doesn't make any sense to me but well everybody has a right to do what they want to do so just keep that in mind like you would need at least two to three months to find a apartment of your choice these are the three things that i really think i should emphasize on in this video just know you're moving to a new country it's freaking cold prepare your mind for that prepare your mind for the long winters and um, get ready get your warm clothes ready another thing about the long winters is the bills that you pay in your apartments go up during winter because of the heating of the apartment so more bills during winter because you need a warm apartment you use more hot water and all that jazz and also finding a community and also oh i didn't mention this about finding communities there are also like facebook pages where you could find your fellow african students that study in estonia i don't want to mention anyone here so that they will not say i was the one that directed them to that group but there are a few groups you can search on facebook and ask to be invited to those groups those groups of like african students in this part of the world in this country and from there you can actually grow a community you find a community make friends and basically get integrated into the society i hope this video was useful to somebody to anybody and if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section i would like to hear your views and if you stay in estonia and you have encountered any of the problems that I discussed, please leave a comment, let's talk about it, let's discuss. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's all love here on this channel. And I'll see you all on my next video. Bye.